I do want to say I think this is one of the more exciting times that we've had on this project in a while. Uh, I think the biggest thing is that like this has always been, at least for the past year, very theory based and it's been very practical on what we're actually building. Uh, and everyone here is here because they want to do rocket science in some way, right? This is the first time in over a year that we're going to be able to actually go out and hopefully see that. Hi, it's 11.47, uh, Friday, the day before we're going to FAR, or the day we're going to FAR. Uh, we're currently packing up the U-Haul, making sure that we have cold brew, the rocket, everything in here, um, checked off of our checklist before we go. So excited to head off to FAR. All right, so there's been a lot, a lot going on tonight. Uh, we've been setting up on the I-beam here. Uh, so we've got that pretty much all set. We're gonna go ahead and do a pressure decay, make sure the system is good, check for leaks. Uh, but yeah, the biggest things tonight, we have this going on. We had ejection system testing with black powders. We've done two of those, or actually one of those right now. Uh, we've done that. We had uh, igniter testing, so we did that. And then we also have our LNG fill operators. They just completed fill uh, to go and uh, do that in Fontana. So big missions tonight. Uh, we got most of them done smoothly. So we're hoping that tomorrow goes just as flawlessly. Uh, but yeah, we got a, a long night ahead of us, but we're excited for tomorrow. Uh, Victor? Here. Yeah. Vavon? Here. Yeah. Megan? Yeah. Sonny? Here. Yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna go over and start an instrumentation check. Um, we'll give walkies to people who... Car. Oh, well, I'm sleeping in the car, but... <laughs> the eggs? Yeah, they just began to bring them. Is yeah. So. No, that was bad. It was a compliment. You're big and burly, I guess. So we're we're here in the morning, uh, here at Far, and we're getting started in our procedures right now. We're doing a pressure decay again uh, today. Uh, we did one last night, which was cool, uh, just to make sure that the system was in a, a good enough spot to the point where we could walk out here today uh, and make sure that we're on time with everything. Uh, and yeah, so we're gonna do pressure decay. We're gonna hoist this, we and we're gonna get started. Uh, and yeah, it should be an exciting day. I mean, we've been doing we've done over 10 cold flows to get to this point um, over the course of the quarter. Uh, we've had a lot of success with them, and so we're very hopeful for how today's gonna go. We've had, I mean, last night all of the, the operations we had to do were basically this, flawless it's the uh, so we got really lucky with that and we're hoping for more of the same yeah. today uh, and yeah we'll just have to see see what happens so so far far has been really really cold and really really loud right now we're trying to figure out how to rotate the doer and vent it so that's what we're doing um, but luckily our trip last night went pretty well, uneventful, which is what we wanted. How did you get in? 1.30 a.m. And then I went to sleep in my lab coat. Here, I got him. I can get it. Or something. I don't want you to know. Especially like holding up the progress of the whole yeah. team. <laughs> <laughs> Right now we just started our LOX fill, so we're filling up one of our tanks with liquid oxygen and uh, meantime we're monitoring our pressures and everything, making sure everything's uh, going well. Seven, six, 
I think we're gonna push back uh, VCF. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, procedurally and what we did to prepare for this, I really don't think there's much more that we could have done to avoid what just happened, but we're gonna go over and we'll assess the system uh, and we'll figure out where we're at from there. It's not the end of the world, obviously it's not great uh, and not what we expected, but I think, like, w we will make do with what we have. Uh, and again, I, I, I think we were very well prepared for this. I really don't know what we could have done uh, better to, to prepare for it, but Maybe we'll find something that, I guess, was uncovered that we should have done better. So after conducting our failure analysis for VTF-1, uh, we decided that the inner layer of the combustion chamber delaminated and that material plugged the throat of the nozzle, which caused the combustion to stop in our chamber. Um, and basically that led to a hard start of the engine, which caused the explosion that we saw. Thank you.